Hello everyone, welcome back to another installment from Ampro Engineering. This is gonna be a very fast and straightforward video, but I wanted to make a video of this particular product because it can be a little finicky to detail. The product we're talking about is nothing mechanical on the Tyco or Tayo Turbo Hopper or Jet Hopper or whatever the heck your iteration is called. It happens to be these incredibly irritating and constantly lost spotlights. What we have made available now, excuse the paint on my thumb, is a set of lamps that are sold as fours. These are the back housing and these four here are the front housings. Links of course are in the description and there's gonna be two versions of this. One of them has this front face completely flat, but this version here, if you can see it kind of looks upside down, this one here has the helitext embossed. Now, I don't know of anybody that makes this particular sticker, which is why I went ahead and embossed it on this one here. So the detailing is very straightforward. These main housings here, you'll spray paint in whatever color you'd like. Factory would be in black, but you know, we're gonna make this a little bit more fun and I'm gonna paint these in chrome. I use a Rust-Oleum chrome paint that looks fantastic. These will remain white. And what I want to mention prior to actually painting these is these are made in the ultra detail plastic from Shapeways. And there are cases where some of the support material that was used on these can be left over. So if you find they're a little bit, I don't know, it has kind of a waxy feel. I would highly recommend taking a small brush, some soap and water, and giving it a good scrub, allowing it to air dry, and then go ahead and primer these. You want to use an aerosol-based primer because you do not want this to have any brush strokes that'll fill up any of the recesses. Also, do not use a filler primer. So these will be primed in matte white, then we'll detail up the black, and then I'll probably just clear coat them. These got painted chrome, and these here will be detailed. So you can see how these will come out. Again, there's no sticker here. This is just the embossed front face. There is a variant of this that is smooth so that you can put a sticker on should you choose. The chroming came out okay. It's a little bit rough just because the chrome didn't really have a good time to set. It's really cold outside. If you want a little bit smoother, do a few coats of filler primer. I would usually say between three and four coats of filler primer or as high as five coats of a sandable primer. Give it a light sanding and then paint. All right, to do this, get yourself a nice new Sharpie. Very carefully, just kind of tilt it down on one side and run it along the perimeter. Don't worry about getting a perfectly flawless pass the first time. Let it dry and then give it a second coat. If you have a better way to do this with a different kind of a paint pen, perhaps, please let me know. Again, it is critical that you do it on its side. Okay, at this point, I want to go ahead and install these. Now, there are little notches on the inside, which means these cannot go in any other orientation. So we can see that they'll just drop straight in place there. Use a high quality model glue. I strongly suggest not using super glue or cyanoacrylate because it could bloom and create all that fog that we hate so much on black surfaces. So line that up and just plop it in. Give her a push and let it dry. Okay, so these are going to glue. As soon as they're dried, we'll put them on the car. So before I install these, I just want to note that these are the exact same diameter. These look a lot bigger because as you can tell, the print, or I shouldn't say the print, but the embossing goes further to the edges than the original one does. Again, these are available with the white piece that is fully flat if you do have decals. I just noticed that these say 2000, but I have another set that says 500. So I wonder if there's a variation on this here. So now we've got our turbo hopper and we'll take some flush cutters, snip them all off. 
The original ones were held in place by a heat stake on the bottom. So I don't know if the heat stakes just weren't very good or kids were pulling on them, but I mean, they were secured when they were new. So these here, you can either just drop them straight in or put a little dab of model glue and that'll hold them right in place. And just note that the more layers of paint that you put on this, it could actually cause some interference. It hasn't on this case here, but um, it has happened in the past. There we go. I kind of like the silver as it, let's see here. Yeah, I kind of like the silver. It stands out a bit more. Needless to say, the Turbo Hopper now has all four lamps, which is really, really nice. And more importantly, it's not going to cost you a million dollars like it would be to slowly find these little guys here. And plus, look at these. I mean, they're all faded and you know, they're all yellowed and stuff. Well, that's all, folks. Not a very complicated video. Um, I have gotten a lot of people interested in these. So if you too are one of the interested parties, again, links to the Shapeways page where all of these are available are in the description. Thank you all so much for watching and we'll see you next time.